you're going to make it wrestle it a bit. I'll wrestle it now. He's going to go right here. Is he? There you go. And he can bite. We'll show you the mouth of this thing. Head on so you can see what the prey sees when he comes. Anything that'll fit in that mouth, he'll grab it. <laughs> and yeah. And, and uh, you can hold him. You just want to put your hands all the way under him. Come all the way. Come all, right. all the way. Hold him up close to you. Yeah. How about well, that? You got him. Yeah. Well, this is the top predator in this river. This is a, what, a 25 pound flathead catfish. Uh, you see those protrusions from it. From his head, those are barbells. They sense vibration in, in the mud at the, on the riverbed. But the most interesting thing about the catfish is that she really is, in some ways, one big tongue. There are taste sensors covering every every part of her body, and she can build up a three-dimensional picture of the river by detecting the chemical scents of animals. So her eyes are not much use. As you can see, this river is extremely muddy, but it's the sense of taste that does the job of building up a picture of the world. And that's how he hunts and he weighs a ton. <laughs> oh, I can feel those teeth. Ow! I'm gonna let go. <laughs> All right, you, go on. The sensory world of the catfish is a remarkable one. Its map of its universe is built from the thousands of chemicals it can detect in the water. A swirling mix of tastes and concentrations, flavours and gradients. It's a world we can hardly imagine. There's an interesting, almost philosophical point here, because it's easy to imagine that we humans perceive the world in some kind of objective way, but that's not the case at all. I mean, think about the catfish. The catfish sees the world as a kind of swarm of chemicals in the river or vibrations on the riverbed, whereas we see the world as reflected light off the forest, and I can hear the sounds of animals out there somewhere in the undergrowth. The catfish sees the world completely differently, so the way you perceive the world is determined by your environment, and no two animals see the world in the same way. Thank you.